I'm ready to shine. So Tarek's actually coming. Don't worry, I am here. Support, give me and my supporter ally tough this round. Copy the last spell you cast on only me this round onto that ally. So like, yeah, so the wording is a little bit weird, but it means like if you've cast a spell, you'll be at it. It will go on there as well. I've seen you target or support ally seven times. Uh, four mana, two, four. Not too bad. Especially since like, well, it has tough when you attack. Okay, I have to like, yeah. This is just a reaction. Let's keep going. What the Honor fuck is that guy? Blessing of Targon. Five mana burst speed spell. Grant an ally plus three plus three. At burst speed. It's pretty expensive, but this must be because like the region is supposed to represent something else. So cards like this, maybe in that region, even though it looks so expensive, might still be quite powerful. A very vanilla card. So you can see the combo here. You can see the combo here, right? They're both gonna get tough, and then that one's gonna get 3 3. Dazzling. <laughs> yeah, we've seen this card. You. We'll see it in action now. The protector. Climb well, and good luck on your journey. To preserve beauty oh, he's leveling. All life. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Support, so it's 4 mana 3, 5, makes sense. Support, my supported ally and I can't take damage or die this round. Copy the last spell you cast on only me this round to that ally. So now, supported allies don't die during combat. Or this round at all. Wait, does Tarek have to see you do it? Hold up. I've seen you. Okay, so Tarek has to be on the field for him to actually flip. Yours. I was gonna say it because that's fucking crazy. I am with you always. Victory is that's a, a pretty hefty level up condition, but it is bonkers. Holy shit! If you actually flip Tarek, that's like a win condition. Holy shit! Let's have a look at the cards, guys. So we already seen Tarek. We get that. Can I full screen this, or is this pretty much full screened? Gift giver. One mana, one, two. When I'm summoned, create a gem in hand. And the gem is the uh, one mana burst spell over here. Heal an ally. One, and grant it plus one. Can't be cast in combat. Can't be cast in combat or response to a spell. So it's only most effective when you're opening attacking. Open attacking. That is a very strange burst speed spell but re relatively balanced so it can't be played during combat whenever you feel like it. Gift Giver, a mon mana 1-2, provides you with a gem in hand. It's not a bad uh, one drop. So we've seen Tarek, the Mountain Goat, 2 mana 3-1, strike, create a gem in hand. More gems. <laughs> Our Mentor of the Stones on the top right here. Support, grant my supported ally plus 2 plus 2, last breath, create 3 gems in hand. 3 mana 1-1. One, one. Um, okay, the gems, like that mentor of stones can help to level up Tarek quite quickly. Yo, shards of the mountain, guys. Four mana spell at slow speed. Fill your hand with gems. What? That is poggers. <laughs> Yo. And then you play that, oh dude, what is that, what is that card? The, uh, every time he casts a spell, grab me one, one, plus one, plus one. That's the combo. That's the combo right there. And Tarek's Blessing of Targon, this obviously is going to also be his signature spell. The plus three, plus three seems, seems kind of expensive. At the burst speed though still, it's kind of cool. I think Shards of the Mountains are really fucking, really crazy card. Tarek seems strong. I think with the support around him, you could level him up in one turn. That would be the play, right? That would be how you want to try and pilot Tarek, level him up in one turn. So I'll just quickly run through all the cards and I'll just give my kind of like meme or dream. Uh, Tarek is a dream card. I think there's some potential behind this. I think it's flip condition is pretty insane. So people are going to be looking to kind of negate that from happening. Although it might be kind of hard with some of the resources we have. Like Bastion already 
is going to be quite strong alongside Tarek. Plus, Tarek's signature spell itself can help to, at times, protect him. I think the Mentor of Stones is kind of a meme. Although it does bring the support ally, I think you just kind of would rather just run Shards of the Mountain. <laughs> uh, speaking of Shards of the Mountain, I think that card might have some implica implications. I think cards that can provide you sheer amount of value is pretty insane. I think the Mountain Goat and Gift Giver are kind of weak. Very vanilla, kind of like introduction cards to Targon. Uh, not much of a power creep here. Although the Gift Giver does provide you with the uh, gem that you can sometimes play on turn two. Yeah, Gift Giver seems kind of weak. Mountain Goat seems kind of like a bit of a meme as well. Tarek itself seems pretty cool. The gems are a bit confusing to newer players for sure. But it's like, it's like a new kind of spell that isn't really changing the keyword right so even though it is burst you can't play it at certain times so it might be a little bit confusing at first but i'm sure we'll get used to it uh guys have a great day don't forget to leave a like uh, subscribe if you're new here come check out some more my thoughts on the uh cards as they get released and um yeah we'll see you soon